there guys, Blake from Play United. This is my first official um VR friend battle. Um I go in with my rain dance team on this one. I just sorry, just blanked out on the person's name. But it's the title, so. Uh I go with my rain dance team on this one and I gotta show you this show you this was a very upsetting performance. <laughs> I'm going to spoil it right away. <laughs> I was screwed. My my whole strategy just died. So, not really much to say. I'm gonna go with Gorbis and Ludicolo first. Oh, hi. All the time when it's like, can't say anything before the battle. I'm just bored out of my mind. So, going to Lagoon Coliseum, as you can tell the title, Brawl at the Beach. And the da, da, There we go. So, he starts out with Staraptor and Espeon and gets intimidate on both my guys. <coughs> And that was pretty much a strategy just to weaken my attacks because his intimidate goes off, flare our attack, and then he'll light screen for his turn. So I go for Hydro Pump Ludicolo on the Star Raptor just because I can. And I set up Rain Dance with Gorbis. All I needed to do is just, you know, this front combo, usually it's because most people would expect Ludicolo to pack the Rain Dance. <coughs> ah. So, most of them would go for the Nikola. So, as, as I said, Espeon goes for the light screen, set it up, lower, pretty much diminish our attack power. So, after Brave Birds, and that is actually going to be enough to destroy my Ludicolo in one shot. Which, I mean, I can expect. Stab super effective. It's a freaking Brave Bird. It takes a lot of recoil. He does take some nasty recoil, though, but. Ludicolo dies in one shot, which screwed me right there. Uh, Gorbis sets up Rain Dance. And yeah, so I'm in a pretty bad spot right away, and I go into Omastar because I gotta get some speed on the field, and I gotta get it now. So let's cut through this lag and Omastar. So I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam on Star Raptor, but I need to fix my Omastar. It's it's attack and special attack need to be fixed. There, he's very weak. For some reason, I have to fix that. I have to EV train him some more. Or whatever. I need to give him better stats. Probably just go buy a bunch of protein or whatever. <laughs> you know, that'll help raise his stats at least just a little more. Because he's good, but he's not good enough. It's all. Okay, I spin the Star Raptor, Hydro Pump, the Espeon. I'm thinking another reason his attack. Now, now that I think of it, the reason his attack didn't go, do good is because I didn't remember the um, light screen. Because Ice Beam didn't take out Star Raptor. And it has to be on Psychics. And it's not going to kill him, Star, but it's going to do a lot. Because it's putting Espeon. And Brave Bird goes off. And look at this. He does not take out my Gorbis, which makes me very happy face. For a brief moment, I'm like, yay, I did something! I, I, you know, you know, didn't I didn't kill this guy, but he died. So whatever. Gorbis, Hydro Pump, Light Screen, even with Rain Dance up, that didn't do too much. Stab and Rain Dance, but that Light Screen was good. And Espeon restores health with leftovers. <coughs> hey, I don't remember what he goes into at this point. I think he goes into Heracross. Uh, yeah, he goes into a Heracross. And here was the dumbest thing I've done yet. I didn't. Remember that Heracro that bug is you know normal the ice beam. I always thought I assume ice was super effective to bug. Well, I could have gone for S Espeon and you know we did a little more damage to it before I died. <coughs> I'm just gonna psychic the Heracross because it's fighting and it will die. Almost starts means everything of course ice beam doesn't do a lot. Also considering light screen. Espeon Psychic, and that's gonna take out Oma Star, no doubt. So he dies, fail, X's in your eyes. And Heracross is gonna aerial ice, and that's no, no, uh, no doubt gonna take out Gorbis with slow HP. And so I'm already down half my team right now. Just, yo, know, this is not my best performance. Wait. Yeah, I'm down half my team. I lost Gorbis, Ludicolo, and Omastar. So I go into Starmie and Mantine. And... Lag. And Mantine. I go into Starmie as well. 
because I like my Starby. Who doesn't get to do anything? Oh, wait, am I spoiling things for you? Okay, spoiler alert, it doesn't get to do anything! So I hydro pump as I can with Manti. I figure this is the best attack I got right now. I'm going for the Espeon. And with Starmie, I. What do I do with Starmie? I sight. Oh, yeah, Psychic the Hammer Cross. Stab, super effective. Figure. Now, here's what I did not see coming. I did not see that Shadow Ball coming, and I did not want this freaking critical hit to just wipe out my Starmie right then and there. That was not cool. And then Mantine missing Hydro Pump is also not cool. Stupid not coolishness. That is not gonna take out man time, thankfully that um Aerial Ace. Link continues to fall. I go into my last member of my team, which I don't believe you guys have seen yet. I I don't think you guys have seen my uh Azum roll yet. So I go into Azum roll. Cause I love Azum roll. And Mantine is just going to hydro pump the Espeon, which is right now the big threat to my team. Well, it's been killing everybody. Psychic and Shadow Ball, which didn't see coming, whatever. I'm gonna Aqua Tail the Espeon as well. I need to give it a hydro pump on him, um, a zoom roll, because it's more of a physical attacker right now. Because you know, I've killed with Aqu I've killed things with Aqua Tail that I couldn't kill with hydro pump. So yeah. Psychic surprisingly does not bring me down to my sash, because I know Azumarill's not that defensive. Hydro Pump goes off, brings us beyond down to low health. Heracross Stone Edges, it's gonna kill Mantine with a critical hit again! Ah, oh, bad hacks today, bad hacks. Ugh, I hate when that happens. Like, every friend battle I've done, I did a recent friend battle on the DS, I didn't record it, but... It's like, I just got bad hacks! Critical hits with every kill. Whatever, Espeon dies to a zoom roll aqua tail. I love how a zoom roll like hits you and then like spins around. That's amazing. It's hilarious. Light screen wears off, you know, at the end of the battle when I'm practically screwed over. So if I could have just held on a little longer, I might have had somewhat of a shot, but no, nah, this strategy was screwed from the beginning. The whole Ludicolo getting pwned in one shot and then Starmie getting pwned with a critical hit and you know, things just not going my way. Almost star not doing too well. Yeah, so he goes into a Garchomp and Azumarill's not out first of all, Azumarill isn't out speeding that Heracross, and I know that Heracross is packing Aerial Ace, which never misses, and Stone Edge, which is an awesome move. So Azumarill's pretty much screwed. I didn't want to be a noob, I didn't want to protect on this last turn. I know I'm not out speeding Garchomp. Garchomp Dragon Claws, that's gonna wipe out Azumarill, and I'm gonna lose this battle. So, yeah, not the best <clears throat> performance for my Rain Dance team. We just got our butts handed to us. And so, look out for part two, which I should be uploading at the same time. Alright, bye.